just to let me down and mess me around and then worst of all you never call baby when you say you will but I love you still I need you I need you more than anyone darling nothing can break my heart so build me up buttercup don't break my heart bottom bottom Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, March 25th, 2014. Oh my gosh, pretty soon it's April. What, six more days? Because there's 31 days in this month. I hate months with 31 days. It's so gay. So, happy Tuesday, y'all. I'm happy because it is my day off. And by the way, I'm wearing this because there's a cold front in Florida. It's been raining on and off this morning. And it's supposed to all day. And it's like 50 degrees. I'm off from work. I'm happy. And I'm just going to stay in, probably. Not. Because I like to cause havoc. So, work yesterday, we thought it was going to be so slow because it was uh, raining and really cloudy and cold, um, but it was steady, but I was taking the skew suit home. As soon as I pulled in, boom, downpour. It's like, thank you, God, Jesus, I did not get stuck in the rain. Um... So, I just want to let y'all know, I am doing some new craft projects that I'm going to do today. Um, and I'm going to sell them on the new Jeffrey G. Show shop once it's updated. And remember, the things I'm going to show you, you can personalize and customize. Alright? Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, five healthy foods that have more fat than a donut. Ready? Number five, half of an avocado. Half of an avocado. And they're small as it is. Better, more fat than a donut. Four, two tablespoons of peanut butter. Three, one ounce of unsweetened dried coconut. Now, we have coconut at work for, like, pina coladas and stuff, and sometimes people just take a handful and go like this. Ooh, all those calories. I'm going to tell people I hate at work, you, let's put coconut on those fries. Or have some coconut and make them gain weight. Oh, and by the way, the owner, Elliot. Yeah, Elliot, I'm calling you out. He's, he's like, uh, you're getting fat. You're rude. Rude. I do. I gotta go to the gym. But not today because it's rainy. So my friend Sally um, did send me a picture of the vagina suppository. It's of a heart. It was very cute. When I figure out everything, maybe I'll edit it in so you guys can see what it looks like. And Sally hasn't called me either. Sally's her fake name, by the way. It's her alias. Touchy, wake up a little touchy. Um, I'm going to tell you some news. A little G-spot news, shall we? Ex-TV judge Joe Brown, uh, who is now a lawyer... In uh, Nashville, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, excuse me. Uh, well, Joe was arrested uh, over the um, last week um, and is spending five days in jail for contempt in court. I guess he was very unruly and mouthy, and the judge did not like it. And Joe Brown, you ain't the judge anymore, brother! Judge Judy would not stand for that shit. Um, the pressure is on to find the black box from the missing Malaysia plane. 
How about we find the airplane? I know the black box will help, but that's not that big. Focus on the airplane. So, uh, congrats to Katie Francis. Yes, uh, you don't know her name probably, but she's a Girl Scout, and she broke a decade-old uh, sales record uh, for selling 18,107 boxes of Girl Scout cookies. How do you know that many people, girl? Will you give them uh, my postcard about my show when you, when you hand them to them? Wow, that's amazing. Uh, and the death toll of Washington mudslide rises. It is now 14 dead. Oh, that's sad. And U.S. Um, allies throw Russia out of G8. I don't know what G8 is. I tried to start reading it, and then I was like, eh. They can look it up if you want. Um, Kim Kardashian. She finally made one of her dreams come true by gracing us with the cover of Vogue magazine with Kanye West. But, sorry Kim, Baby North takes all the thunder away from you because she's so darn cute. Um, wow, this shocked me. Stacey Keebler, who literally broke up with George Clooney less than a year ago, is married and she is now ex. Dang, Stacy, you move fast, girl. You move fast. Uh, Rihanna will receive the CFDA Fashion Icon Award on June 2nd in New York City. I would like to thank all the people for the Icon Award. And Christina Applegate announced that her daughter um, will not be allowed to pursue acting until she is 18. Christina, you started when you were like three. If she wants to do it, let her do it. And it really annoys Jennifer Aniston when you say to her, Wow, you look so great for your age. Jen, you look so great for your age. Um. Uh, and um, David Cassidy was ordered to enter a 90-day rehab living facility for his DUI he got a few months ago. It's time to get happy. The Walt Disney Company has agreed to buy Maker Studios, one of YouTube's largest networks, for a banging $500 million. And this, they hope to turn teenagers on to Disney. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, and to all of you Entourage fans, Kevin Connolly broke his leg on the set. Uh, I don't know what that means for the show. And I think they got a movie deal. Uh, Anita Baker, she is um, dodged her arrest, her warrant for her arrest in Detroit after a Judge withdrew it. I am Hayden Pentier uh, from the show Nashville. Sold her house in Hollywood and she is moving to Hollywood. Florida! Hollywood, Florida. It's like 25 minutes from me and go visit her. And Miley Cyrus celebrated her banger store in Miami, spending $5,000 on a cake. Go ahead, girl. You can afford it. Um, people come into work, and this really freaks me out. They're like, Jeff, how are you? Or they'll, like, give me a hug, and in my head, I'm like, I have no idea who you are. Like, if I waited on you once, like, do you know how many people I wait on? But I'm so glad you're happy to see me. Hi. Uh, and I want to do give a shout-out to Peggy and Vale. They are my regulars, and they always uh, take good care of me. Uh, I work with this guy, Edwin, and he's not funny. And he's taking classes, which is very good. So hopefully it'll make him funny. But he was like, Jeff, what do you think about this? I told my dad I was doing stand-up comedy. And he goes, well, son, I hope it makes you money. 
And no, he wasn't talking mean. He smokes. Uh, not funny, Edwin. Let's, we'll work on that. Uh, and today I'm going to clean up my closet like you care. Make room for all of these new projects for the shop. Please buy something from the shop when it opens because I really want to take Marky Costello's class on my birthday weekend. Mama G was so tired last night that she was like on the phone me for two seconds. And I just want to thank everyone that watches the show and enjoys it. I'm up to 428,000 views. I thank you all so very much. Um, I think I'm going to wait till Thursday to call the lawyer. So, oh, and people keep saying they want to come over and co-host, like especially from work. So if you want to come over, come over today. And my friend Chris and I wore One Direction bracelets because we always sing at work. Oh, you light up my life like nobody else. All right. Oh, just Dewey, I got your email. I don't got time to read it. But basically, she said it. I sounded like she was a bad mother. Um, and her daughters are five and nine. And she views my show before she shows it to them. Just, I was kidding. Um, okay. So, what would you do if you weren't afraid? Me? Move to L.A., get a TV job, audition more, uh, do more stand-up, and get out there more, and go out. Any negativity that comes to you today should be returned to sender. And people wait all week for Friday, all year for summer, unless you live in crazy Florida, and all life for happiness. All right. Be productive. Say hi to somebody. Hi, Mama G. Mama, Mama, Mama G. We love Mama G, don't we? I probably went over. Ooh, I did. Have a great, totally excellent, awesome day. Yo, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Jeffrey Giordano Show, one word. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.